hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel back pm so in this video we will solve a numerical problem which is based on the rivet joints okay so i will suggest you so to please watch uh, our playlist from first videos and come uh, here after that so that you can have better understanding of rivet joints okay so let's read the problem find the suitable pitch for a riveted lap joint for plates one centimeter thick so it is given that thickness of the plate t is given as 1 cm we can write it as 10 mm safe working stress and tension in the plate and crushing and shearing the reverse material are respectively so maximum stresses are given in tension sigma t is 150 Newton per mm square tension crushing the so sigma c is given as 212.5 Newton per mm square and shearing is sigma s or tau is equal to 94.5 Newton per mm square and there are two cases case one single riveted single riveted joint and case two is double okay find also the efficiency of the joint so we have to find pitch p here pitch for every joint for and we have to find efficiency of the joint take d is equal to 6 root t this is the design criteria for your joint so d is equal to diameter of rivet is equal to 6 into root thickness of plate so it will be equal to 6 under root thickness is 10 mm you have to keep this value in 10 mm only okay 10 will be mm mm then you will get d in mm otherwise if you are putting in meter or something else you have to use different power this constant will change okay so remember to keep it in mm so it will become 6 under root 10 which will be equal to around 90 mm so approximately we can take it as 20 mm d is equal to 20 mm so single riveted this is given as left joint means one joint one plate will be kept above another plate and it will be like this and in case 2 it is like double riveted so this is the first plate this is second plate and we have two rivets in one row okay so if you draw you can also draw it like this this is one plate these are the plates and these are the rivets only one row of rivets and in this case if you draw you can draw like this there will be two row of rivets So it can be either like this or it can be in zigzag also so we are not trying zigzag we are keeping in same line okay so this is single riveted left joint this is du uh, double riveted left joint okay single riveted 
लेफ्ट जॉइंट दिस इज डबल रिटेड लेफ्ट ओके नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड वी हैव टू फाइंड पिच एंड एफिशियंसी सो वॉट इज द एफिशियंसी एफिशियंसी इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ज्वाइंट डिवाइड बाय स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ओरिजिनल प्लेट ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ज्वाइंट एंड स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ओरिजिनल प्लेट and we have to also find pitch so what is pitch pitch is the distance between center of two consecutive rivers in same row so this is pitch so what will be the strength of joint so for that we have to see in what case a joint may fail so joint may fail due to first steering of plate so for steering of plate first case you can see that mm, we have drilled hole in, holes here okay in the plate so thick uh, material of the plate has reduced so plate is be a uh, plate has become weaker so it may get cracked here okay crack may develop so if you see per pitch length so we can calculate the strength per pitch length so this is the pitch length in which material is left only here this is d by 2 this is d by 2 this is this distance left is p minus d by 2 so it will become sigma t into so this is tearing tearing strength pt is equal to sigma t into area area is p minus d is length and thickness of plate t is thickness width length into width area into stress is force okay so if you keep all the values here then you will get p minus d is 20 mm into thickness of the plate is 10 and sigma t is 150 So if you calculate it, you will get sorry for the I am trying to calculate it. It will become. Fifteen hundred because one fifteen to ten fifteen hundred p minus twenty. Let's keep it like this only. This is first case. Second, it may fail due to shear. So if you see this, if we apply the forces here, then this joint will be shear from here. So this is single shear. Okay. And uh, if you try to calculate how many. rivets are per pitch length so half rivet is here and half rivet is here so half plus half is equal to 1 in this case if you see per pitch length this is p c half plus half plus half plus half so here n is equal to 2 n is number of rivets per pitch length here n is equal to 1 so see in case of shear Yes, shearing strength is tau into n. N is equal to number of rivets per pitch length into area. Area of rivet is pi by 4 d square into number of shear planes. So it is single shearing. So it will be one. So if we keep the values here, then you will get n is equal to one. Tau is equal to 94. 0.5 into n is equal to 1 into pi by 4 into diameter is 20 square. Okay, so if we calculate it, you will get 
newton okay now third case crossing suppose this is one plate or you can see in the diagram itself if we are applying forces here in these two plates then this suppose this rivet joint is crossing so it may cross against this edge so this edge may get crushed or this rivet itself may get crushed so what is the area of projection in case of crossing we will calculate on the area of projection so area of projection will be area of this plate so it will become n into sorry pc is equal to n into sigma c into area of projection which will be equal to n is 1 here and sigma c is given to us crossing c maximum allowable crossing uh, stress is equal to 2 1 to 0.5 you can see from here sigma c is 2 1 to 0.5 into area of friction is diameter of the rivet which is 20 mm into thickness of plate which is 10 okay so you will get 4 to 5 double zero newton so which is the less, lesser value if you see from this to this this is the lesser value so joint will fail if only these two cases are considered shear and crossing then joint will fail due to shear so we will design which value in in that way that it doesn't fail due to tearing at least tearing strength should be equal or more than this so for minimum pitch we will equate this value with the shearing tearing strength so 1500 p minus 20 will be equal to 29688 from here if you calculate you will get p is equal to 39.8 mm so this will be the pitch pitch of the rivets now what will be the strength of the plate there there may be another consideration if you want if you read the designing of the rivets then the uh, pitch of the rivets should not be less than pitch should be greater than uh, great, greater than equal to 3 into diameter of the rivets so it should be greater than equal to 3 into so it will be 3 into 39.8 sorry 20 3 into 20 so it is 60 mm or you can consider this also but this is perfect thing if you are reading the design of the rivet so it should be minimum 60 mm but from calculation 39.8 mm is also okay so what is the strength of the plate strength of the plate original plate is p is equal to per piece length we are calculating so tensile strength into length of pitch into thickness of the plate so it will become 150 into 50 into 10 if we consider this value okay so it will become 90000 newton so in this case if you can see it is 29688 divided by 90000 into 100 so it will become 33% So don't worry about this if it is not given in the question so consider p is greater than equal to 3d then you should not consider this is just for general case that it should be greater than 3d okay now in second case we will see the second case only difference here is that n is equal to 2 so if you see here for tearing strength we have not calculated so we have uh, for tearing strength we have not calculated we have not included n number of rivets per so it will not change so pt will remain same pt will remain same it will be equal to 
फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पी माइनस ट्वेंटी बिकॉज से टियरिंग स्ट्रेंथ इज नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ रिवर्स पर पेज लेंथ ओके सो इट इज सेम हियर ओके सेकेंड इज शेयरिंग स्ट्रेंथ सो इन दिस केस इफ यू विल सी हियर ऑल्सो इट इज ओनली सिंगल सीयर बट देर आर टू रिवेट्स टू रिवेट्स ओके पर पेज लेंथ यू हैव ऑल्सो रिटर्न हियर इट हियर यू ऑल्सो रिटर्न एन इज कॉल टू टू सो इट विल बिकम एन एन टू टाउ एन टू फाइव बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर एन टू एम हियर एन इज कॉल टू नंबर ऑफ रिवेट्स पर पेज विच इज टू एन टू टाउ इज नाइंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव इन टू फाइव बाई फोर डी स्क्वायर डी एच ट्वेंटी इन टू एन एज नंबर ऑफ शेयरिंग सर्फेसेस विच इज वन सिंगल शेयर बिकॉज इज इज सिंगल शेयर सो इफ यूल कैलकुलेटेड यू विल गेट फाइव नाइन थ्री सेवन सिक्स न्यूटन ओके सो दिस इज पी एस शेयरिंग स्ट्रेंथ थर्ड वन इज क्रसिंग स्ट्रेंथ और यू कैन ऑल्सो जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू ओके बिकॉज ओनली थिंग चेंजिंग इज नंबर ऑफ दिस एन इज ओनली चेंजिंग विच इज बिकमिंग टू फ्रॉम वन सो इफ यू डायरेक्टली मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई टू देन यू ऑल्सो देर ऑल्सो यू विल गेट दिस वैल्यू थर्ड इज पी सी इन दिस केस ऑल्सो एन इज चेंजिंग सो यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस वैल्यू बाई टू और यू कैन कैलकुलेट एन इन टू सिग्मा से इन टू एरिया ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन सो इट विल बिकम एन विच इज टू इन टू सिग्मा से इज टू वन टू पॉइंट फाइव इन टू एरिया ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन इज डायमीटर ऑफ द रिवेट विच इज ट्वेंटी एन टू थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट सो इट विल कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट एट फाइव जीरो 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 मीटर नाउ द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टू इज दिस so we will equate this with this so 1500 p minus 20 is equal to 59376 okay so from here if you will calculate p is equal to 59.6 mm or you can say it as 60 mm okay so this is the value of pitch in this case and what will be the strength of the plate the strength of the plate it will be same because here also p was 60 here also p was 60 and this two value are same so it will be 90000 so its efficiency will become minimum of 3 which is 59376 divided by 90000 into 100 If you will calculate it, you will get fifty-five point nine seven percent. So this is your efficiency in second case. So I hope you understood this problem. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in the comment section. And if you like this video, please share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.